excited. And Sarah. this is the part I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> favorite part. Go ahead, Renee. What is your least favorite household chore? Cleaning the toilet. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite candy or sweet treat? Anything chocolate. Dark, white, or milk? Milk. Okay. Favorite holiday? <laughs> all holidays. You gotta give me a favorite oh, too. Oh jeez. <laughs> give me something here. Christmas. Okay. Attack. Favorite movie genre? Uh, I don't like action movies, so Romeo. Oh. You're rocking my world. <laughs> Last one. This is very appropriate for today. If you were a flower, oh, what flower would you be? This is good. Oh gosh. There's no way you haven't thought of this. I haven't. What flower would you be, Sue? We know I was you prepared to tell you what my what tree I would be. And that's oh. the first thing I was going to ask you. And then I thought, oh no, mix it up. <laughs> ask her about a flower with the garden. She's flower. done her homework. She probably knows what kind of tree she would be if she were an animal. <laughs> this, this, is why, this is why I changed the questions. Oh, well, you know, well, I like hydrangeas because they can change colors according to how much acid is in the soil. Oh. That's okay, deep. Well, we could go a lot deep. of places with That's that. Very psychological. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was my last one. I was going to ask you about butterflies, but I'm going to save that for another time. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> it is tree. Just because you you came with that prepared, what kind of tree would you? Any need? tree that blossoms, because oh. I continue to blossom. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't. I'm speechless. What? Up and somebody brings in a lunch, but. They always bring in decor and it's always themed <laughs> and I love it. It's I it's just yeah, it's a it's such a great group of ladies. It's a mini party every month. It is. Actually this this Wednesday actually, yeah, this Wednesday, uh, we're having a tea party. One of our members decided that would be fun, so we're having a tea party. And actually, Renee, you're going to be one of our I know I was gonna say that I heard you have a program. Celebrity servers. I look forward to it. Anything for the garden club. <laughs> Oh, you've been involved with Garden Club for a number of years now. I've, I've only been in it for five years. Yeah. Like I said, a number of years now. Okay. <laughs> Ride the wave with me, Sue. Ride the wave with me. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have, <laughs> um, All the money, really, that the Garden Club makes from its dues and the farmer's market gets put back into the community, correct? It does, yeah. We're considered to be a, a service organization, so... Uh, like you said, all of that money does go back. That's our goal is to is to beautify the city of Fostoria. They socialize, you know, it becomes a, a social club too. Mm -hmm. They help help each other through bad things in their lives and you know, they're they're there to support each other. But uh, uh, I, I know there's a few of them that have met in Garden Club and now they're playing pickleball together <laughs> or uh, you know, things like that. Um, I think some of them were done to dancing classes. So wow. um, it's, it's a great, great group of people. And actually, we we range in age from 35 to 95. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's really neat. <laughs> so I know that the Garden Club, every year, you have ongoing projects that you do every year with the city. We do. Um, what are some of those? <laughs> well, we maintain all of the city flower beds, or I should say most of all of the flower beds in the city of Fostoria. And then we're also involved in a lot of other projects, like uh, for instance, the Parkette, we were involved in that a couple years ago. Um, and of course we participate in the, the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. We've done that for, oh, well, I guess it's been like 11 years now. Well, the Garden Club really took the farmer's market and made it to what it is today. Yes. Because correct me if I'm wrong, for 10 years, the Garden Club actually ran the farmer's market. Actually, Carol Ken, who was part of the Garden Club, actually managed that. Um, but the proceeds from that all went to, to the Garden Club. Mm -hmm. you know?